Today I'll show you how to easily set up a native iOS extension in GameMaker Studio 2. By using an extension, you can run native Objective-C code in your game. This allows you to use functions available in Objective-C that are not available in GameMaker Studio. This tutorial is heavily based on creating a native extension for iOS, written by Mark Alexander at YoYo Games. The article is for Studio 1.4 and something have changed in version 2. So let's dive into the coding. First, download the two files in the article. I left the link in the description to the article. Then, open GameMaker Studio 2. Right-click Extensions in the Resources and select Create Extension. Name your extension Generic Test. You can also number the version. In the Copies 2 window, remove all platform except iOS. There is no use including your Objective-C files in other builds. They will only take up space. We will come back to the Files window later on. But first, go to Extra Platforms and check iOS. A new window will appear. Compiler flags, linker flags, and inject to info plist is mainly for external SDKs and more advanced code. For this guide, we will only focus on the class name. You should follow the names from your Objective C code, so let's use generic test. Then click Add Source and locate it folder where you downloaded the files from the article. Select the folder and click Open. If we now open the project folder on the drive, we can see that GameMaker have imported the files to the correct folder. Now we can close the Properties window. In the Files window, click the three lines and select Add Placeholder and Add Generic Placeholder. Deselect all platforms except iOS. Go to Functions and add a new function. The name of the function is the GameMaker name and the external name is the actual name of the function in your Objective-C code. We're going to use the function add two numbers in both name and external name. Writing a help text is always smart. This function takes two arguments, argument 0 and argument 1. Since we're going to pass in numbers, we need to set the value to double. And since the function will add the two numbers and return the result, the return type must also be double. That's it! Now we have made an extension linking GML to Objective-C code. Let's make an object 
that will run and handle the code. Create a new object. Do not need a sprite. Add a create event. Here I will initiate the variable my number and set it to zero. Add a draw event. I'm going to use draw text to display the result. Let's place it at 50, 50. And remember to string the mind number variable, since draw text requires a string. I'm adding an event to actually run the function or the Objective C code. Let's go with global left release. My number equals add two numbers. Let's put in 10 and 20. Adding them together should result in 30. Open the default room and change the width and height to 375 by 667. and drop in the object's obg extension and run the code. I'm using the iPhone 8 simulator in Xcode. Now there's the zero, the default value of the mind number variable. Let's left click anywhere, and there you go, 30. The math was done natively on the phone or the simulator. Please subscribe if you found this helpful, and leave a comment if you'd like me to make a video for the other functions in the Xcode files from YoYo Games.